Hey, hey yo, hey, hey yo, Amico. Look at Chris trying to wait like he. Yeah, I'm trying trying to give you all an opportunity. I mean, I can I can talk, but I mean, I, I you know, I'm sure you want to go and talk about your team, right? So yeah, I'm, I'll go. Yeah, go yeah, ahead. Big cat. I, I, let's see it. Big Burr. Big Burr. <laughs> y'all stupid, bro. Um, I do. I I think this is the year that that the Bengals put it all together for sure, and and for for a few different reasons, right? Joe Burrow is healthy. He made it through his first training camp since being in the NFL, heading into year four. Shouldn't be significant, but it is. Um, the weapons that this team has all over is is still significant, right? You look at the uh, offense of, of line. This is probably the best offensive line that Joe Burrow has had since since coming into the league with the addition of Amarius Smims through the draft. He's 6'8". Um, he's dealing with a little pectoral injury right now, but he'll be, he's expected to be back early on in the season. We acquired, you know, Trent Brown from, from the Patriots. Um, he'll be a, a solid band-aid for us for, for the time being It's expected to, again, automatically be the, the best right tackle the Bengals have had since, you know, Joe Burrow's tenure here. Um, and obviously, you know, what we have in Orlando Brown Jr., guys like Alex Kappa, Ted Karras and, and so forth, right? That's just the offensive line. And, and I think, you know, it's, it's important to, to talk about the offensive line just, just given how bad it's been in the past, right? You, you go back to that Super Bowl year, the Bengals made it to the Super Bowl with one of the worst offensive lines in the NFL because of how talented Joe Burrow is, because of how talented T. Higgins and Jamar Chase are, right? So we've seen him get it done, not get it done, but we've seen him take this team to, to, to far lengths uh, just based off of his talent or, alone and, and the supporting cast that he has. Um, and it's not like we had the best defense that year either, right? But now coming into to this season with a healthy T. Higgins, a healthy Jamar Chase, which I, I do think that situation is going to work itself out. Jeremy Fowler from ESPN reported a, a few days ago that uh, talks have intensified. I think the frustrating thing with this whole situation uh, and not to, to get off track is that we just don't know what these conversations are, right? Not one reporter throughout these past several weeks has has mentioned anything about where these talks are at because no one knows. Jamar's camp's not saying anything, nor are, are the Bengals. So uh, I do think I do think Jamar Jamar plays this year. Um, I don't think he takes this into the regular season. Um, so I think that makes a, a big difference in, in what I'm about to say. But I, I do think the Bengals make a deep playoff run. I'm expecting a, a 13, 14 win season. This is also, and the reason I say that is because this is the easiest schedule Joe Burrow has had since being in the league as well, right? The sixth easiest schedule um, among all the, the 32 teams in, in the league. So I feel really, really good about this season. I, I try not to get my hopes up, but it's hard, man, when 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 you look at the defense too and how, how they're coming along. We acquired uh, Geno Stone from the Ravens. We all knew, you know, how he came on last year. We talked about him on this podcast, uh, you know, earlier in, in the year. When, when he got the pick against the Bengals when, when they played early on in the season, right? Um, you know, he was he was that player to watch out for. And now he's on the Bengals as, as our starting safety. Um, and then also Vaughn Bell, who was on that Super Bowl winning team, uh, or not Super Bowl winning, but that, the team that went to the Super Bowl with the Bengals, he left in free agency to go to the Panthers for a year. He came back, right? So um, a couple of key pieces that have me feeling good about this, this secondary because of the veteran leadership that's there helping out our young corners and things like that. Um, but, yeah, man, I think I think the talent's there for Joe Burrow. I think everyone knows what type of quarterback he is. Everyone knows what we have in, in T. Higgins and Jamar Chase. And then the last thing to talk about, man, is just that running back room. Yeah, we lost Joe Mixon, but I think we got better at running back. Joe Mixon was, wasn't was uh, a back that was, could – he could catch out of the backfield, but he, he, he was poor in pass protection, right? Now, now we have two guys by committee – uh, Chase Brown and Zach Moss. Chase Brown was electric out of the backfield last year. He was a, a pickup in uh, fantasy that everyone was going crazy over midseason after seeing what he could do, you know, over the course of a few games. And, and Zach Moss, we, we know what he's been in, in Indiana. He's been a reliable piece um, to, to Jonathan Taylor, right? And I think he's going to he's gonna play at a really high level. He, he's in shape. He looks good. Um, so, yeah, man, I'm expecting big things out of the Bengals. I know that was a long-winded answer, but Y'all, y'all, y'all ain't here for me in a few weeks, so you know how to come on here and, and, and talk my talk my stuff. 